Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Happy birthday. 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 Even though I go to Amo, I don't know what can I do to help Amo to turn around, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of you. Yeah. So I'm going to Canada, and I'm going to be there. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Come on. Tak nak kau dekat fuel kau beri. Anggur segan nak kau kecik kau awan sebelah tang dah cari ni. Awak kau ni kau segi. Apa tak pada? So saya dengar kau ada. Oh, tak ada kap. Itu berapa ni? Yes. Okay. ตาตัวมีน้ำมันบ้างเอาเงินสิอาจจะตัวมาเดือดปะตันปะตันเอาบ้างนี่สัตว์ชนะร้านอาบ้างสัตว์ชนะร้านอาบ้างที่ดีเ
you must work very hard sometimes i struggle and i say oh i, I want to do program Good morning, Nigerians. Again, I am very, very disturbed and angry this morning. I want to call out the Rumahi, the governor of Eboin State. The governor of Eboin State has decided to be a tool for Buhari to undermine the Igbo nation. I particularly am not a fan of tribalism. I'm not a fan of Igbo, whatever. You can see my dressing. I am a northern born Igbo boy. Grew up all my life in the north. But I have one question for you, President Muhammad Buhari. You have chosen a stooge, an idiot, a low life Igbo man like Dave Umahi, who accepts every nonsense you want to do to the Igbos. This same Dave Umahi was the one who told us that you had promised him to be president. That's why he's following you, that Igbos should be quiet and just watch. Some of us believed him in diaspora. Again, this idiot is going again in the Senate to undermine the Igbos again. Ababio is now better than an Igbo man. Muhammad Buhari, I've always respected you. But I will insult you for the first time. Banzani. you have you are a you are very divisive. You are the most wicked man I know that hates the Ibos. You just left all our intelligent people, all the strong Ibos. You have just mathematically looked as are the idiots among the Igbos. You went to Enugu, you went to Ebonyi, you left the guys who are the face of the Igbos. I want to remind you something. These people you're, you're undermining, without Igbos, 
Nigeria will remain where it is. No progress. Let me tell you, you are not God. I am warning you, what you will get, what you will plunge Nigeria into, you will never have seen it before. All this nonsense you are doing, we abroad, we are not going to spare any of them. By the time we catch them, Devu Mahi, you have sold Ibos, you have sold everything about Ibos to a cheap puppet. God, your blood, eh, it will spill on the road. Let me warn you, all of you, that are parties to undermining Ibos, all of you will pay the price. So what Nigeria is good at now is to go and share the Nigerian government in the, in the ways they want and then they bring the students among the Igbos to come and concur with nonsense. Igbos have men of integrity. When you want to deal with Igbos, you go and get them. Let me tell you, you see what is happening in Sudan? Don't allow it to happen in Nigeria. All of you, enjoy it now. P2B won the election. You stole the mandate. You are not even considering bringing an Igbo man with proper representation to the Senate. You are still trying to undermine these people. I am not a, a tribalist, though, but God is watching you, all of you, and this government will never be accepted by anybody that is right. Thank you. We have told the Supreme Court to do the NIFO. The case has been adjourned to the 11th of May. But here is calling on President Buhari. Please, sir, on my bended knees, on my bended knees, you can order the release of Nabi Kanu today. You can do it through the Attorney General of the Federation who has the power to enter a knowledge prosecute discontinuance of the cases after all there's even no case now it's just being held illegally let him go let my people go you don't have to wait for the supreme court decision you don't have to wait to go on may 29 let inam the canoe go